Hello, my name is David Erbach, and on behalf of myself and the organizing committee for the University of Toronto Update in Minimally Invasive Surgery, I'd like to invite you all to our Update in Minimally Invasive Surgery on November 7th and 8th, 2014. This year, we're very excited to host the meeting at the Shangri-La Hotel in Toronto. Uh, please note that in addition to the conference on November 7th, there will once again be a skills lab on November 8th. Please remember that the skills lab does fill up quickly and it has limited registration, so I encourage you all to register soon if you're interested. This year, we have a number of hot topics that we're going to cover in the course, which we're all very excited about. One new session uh, that I think will cause a lot of interest among participants is a complications video session where we'll show you actual videos of surgical complications, things like uh, intraoperative bleeding, uh, postoperative perforations, and we'll get a lot of audience feedback as well as feedback from the expert panel about how, would, how we would all manage these complications ourselves. Uh, we will have a colorectal cancer session during which we'll discuss relevant technical topics such as mobilization of the mesenteries, uh, medial to lateral approaches, including relatively uncommon approaches such as mobilization of the splenic flexure, and as well we'll do an overview of anastomotic techniques comparing um, intracorporeal with extracorporeal, hand-sewn, stapled, uh, the whole variety of anastomotic techniques for colorectal resection. We're also excited to have a foregut session where we'll do a state-of-the-art update on the management of gastroesophageal reflux disease and as well a session called Esophageal Motility 101 where we're really going to focus on the basic important parts of esophageal physiology testing for the practicing general surgeon. And finally, we're also going to have a hernia session this year uh, with a variety of basic and advanced topics, including how to select uh, meshes and uh, updates on new fixation and tack tacking devices, uh, as well as some uh, common problems with hernia repair, including uh, peristomal hernia repair, which is always a challenge uh, for the general surgeon. As well, we'll have a session on how to tailor the right type of hernia repair with the right particular patient. As you can see, we've put together a really exciting program, very relevant to practicing general surgeons who do minimally invasive surgery. We're looking forward to meeting all of you again at the Shangri-La Hotel in Toronto, November 7th and 8th, 2014.